our form has massively picked up. Leeds United are looking to become a force in the Premier League. But today, we face both of our former sides, Barnsley and Huddersfield Town. Following on from the one all draw against Manchester City, we then faced their neighbours, Manchester United, and beat them 2 nil an absolutely fantastic result roman vlasek with a 46th minute goal and a be Eze in the 63rd minute and this was a dominant game we definitely deserved the three points a little bit more disappointing going away from home against aston villa an 89th minute equalizer from them george may getting the goal to crush our hopes and dreams roman vlasek did get two goals up top though 57th minute and 63rd another huge result this time at home against liverpool in a game where you could argue we maybe could have deserved the win we did end up having to need an 81st minute equaliser though from Chris Dubelbis and a one point against one of the best sides in the league, even at home, is huge. We then went away from home and absolutely smashed West Ham United. They were nowhere to be seen in this game and we thoroughly deserved the three points. Jim Walker with two, Roman Vlasek with one, our attack started to gel. And finally, a 2-1 away win against Chelsea. Huge. Billy Gilmore had put them in front nine minutes in but Jim Walker with a brace in the first half, give us the 2-1 lead. Pietro Porcino, a central midfielder, decided to get himself sent off in the 81st minute with a straight red card, which wasn't great, but we survived the final 10. And the Premier League table looks like this after the run of games. We currently sit in 8th position, looking pretty comfortable in the top half of the table. And we're only 6 points off Arsenal at the top of the league, but let's not speak too much about that. Huddersfield is sitting in 4th. Uh, Birmingham is sitting in 13th and Barnsley is sitting in 15th. So Barnsley is up first. We are at home in both games today. I need 6 points. So this will be the lineup for today's game. We are suffering from a couple of suspensions and injuries, so it's not quite full strength. Howard comes in at right back to replace Piaggio, who is suspended, I believe. Uh, Hugh Griffiths in goal, Gilson, Garonski and Conradi complete the defence. Jubal Biss and Richard Granger are going to be our central midfield pair in the day. Jubal Biss in his usual role. Richard Granger drops back as Porcino and Mejia are both missing for today's game. Ian Chapman moves to that right-hand side. Abia Ezia comes in behind the striker. Jim Walker on the left and Vlasek up top. Now, in terms of the Barnsley team, there is not many of our former players still left. Only two in the starting eleven. Sanchez, the left-back we signed, absolutely fantastic. He's done great for Barnsley. And Fausto Overa, the defensive midfielder we signed who was still at the club. It has been a long time since we managed Barnsley, so I can't be too surprised that there isn't very many players who we signed still in the first 11, but I'm, I'm a little bit shocked there's still only two, as this first highlight, Ian Chapman dances in the box and gets tackled by our former man, Fausto Vera. They're on the counter in today's game. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Let's see how the game goes. Big kick up by the Barnsley goalkeeper, finds Greco on this right-hand side. The ball's whipped in. Pasquale Frankie gets the goal, <laughs> his fifth goal of the season. He's been signed to replace Lewis Montanew up top after they sold him for a bit of money in the summer. And um, not a great start by us at all. Our uh, left-back comrade should really be winning that ball before it gets to the attacker's feet. And it's an easy finish in the end. This isn't quite going to plan. Can we bounce straight back though? Richard Granger finds Ian Chapman on this right-hand side. He cuts in, finds Jim Walker on the box. It's blocked. Jim Walker, come on. Jim, please, you've got to be beating the keeper from that position. Come on, lads. 13 minutes gone. We need a quick equaliser. Ezia whips it in. It's cleared by Anderson. Only to Jim Walker, though, who awkwardly plays it back to Conradi. I don't know why he's not turning in the box and taking a strike. Jubal Biss to Vlasic. Ezia. Oh, he's ta challenged Jim Walker. Somebody. Oh, so oh, he's hit the post. I'm not even sure who it was. We are banging on the door right now. Harewood with the ball on this right-hand side. Finds Abia Ezia. What's he doing with it? He finds Ian Chapman in the box. He whips it in. It comes back to Ezia. Back out to Hellwood. It's whipped in. Back post Jim Walker. Jim, please. Corner for Barnsley. 16 minutes in. It's played in. Oh, I thought that was going in. Frankie headed just over the bar. Highlight after highlight. We are playing it out from defence. Jubal Biss finds Comradi on this left-hand side. He can bomb forward. Jim Walker. It's stopped. <laughs> Not offering any services anymore, but it does give Comradi the space to open. Ah, it's a decent cross, but it's claimed by the keeper. The highlight does continue, though, as we win the ball back in our own half. Granger plays it down the right-hand side for Chapman, who's in acres of space. Can you finish? Chapman, please, somebody. Oh, there's another highlight, 80 minutes in. It's cross for Barnsley. It's clear by Garonski, and maybe we can break a bit as he drives forward through the centre of the park. He's got plenty of men. Oh, my God, what was that? What was that, a bit as That's why you're not in me starting eleven. 
Usually. Injuries are forced at this time. Jubal Bisto picks up the ball. Granger. Throw to Ian Chapman. Come on, Ian, this time. I mean, why does he take that extra touch and make the chance ten times harder than it had to be? We'll stick with this corner, though. It's Jim Walker to take it. Back post. Cleared. This highlight's still continuing after the corner. It might end up being a Barnsley opportunity. Greco, he's already caused us problems earlier on in the game. He gets the ball in. Sousa in the box. He strikes over. We've had chances in this game. If we do end up going on to lose, we've only got ourselves to blame. It's been about 15 minutes or so in game since the last highlight, so things are maybe calming down a little bit more. It's not quite as frantic, um, which doesn't necessarily mean good things for us. We need to see highlights. Richard Granger picks up the ball in the centre of midfield. It's an unusual position for him, so um, maybe he is just slightly adapting during this game. Comrade receives it on the left-hand side, goes all the way back to Dubal Bisu, plays it back to Comrade. Got men at the back post. He tries to find uh, Vlasek in the centre, but he can't quite do it. Abia Ezia does manage to retain possession. Jim Walker, he strikes and it's blocked by the defender. They are defending in a huge amount of numbers. The highlight continues though with Comrade down the left-hand side to Dubal Bis, to Jim Walker. Come on, Jim. He strikes it. Jim. And it looks like time is ticking away in this first half. We are going to go in 1-0 down and it's absolutely undeserved. There we have it then. Leeds United 0, Barnsley 1. We're going to get aggressive with the boys. They should be performing better in this game. We are going to go to a slightly shorter passing style. Um, not quite as direct. That might quickly change um, in the final half hour if we are still 1-0 down. But we have a highlight. 53 minutes in. Jim Walker picks it up in the centre. Tries to find Vlasek but the keeper gets there first. We need to find space for Roman Vlasek. He needs to get the ball. He's got the finishing ability. And I'm confident that if he gets a good opportunity, he will put it in the back of the net as Ian Chapman goes down the right-hand side. He's been dreadful on the right-hand side. We're going to take him off. Uh, Ian Chapman for Kazim. Kazim at him has had a decent enough season so far. Uh, yep, as our starting right winger, hasn't really performed. So that's why he's not starting today. 20 minutes to go. I'm about this close to putting us on very attacking. Richard Granger. Come on. A little bit of magic, get us back into this game and we'll try and play for a winner. But I'll take a point right now. Kazim. Go on, Kazim. Oh, he's missed as well. Right, we're going very attacking. We're already a lot more direct than we were at the start of this half. Abia Ezia picks it up on the right-hand side, whips it in. Jim. Again, saved by the keeper. Oh, big ball up from the keeper. Frankie brings it down. <sighs> Hugh Griffiths with the save. I thought that was going to be it. Corner for Barnsley will stick with this. Smith Rowe is the man to take it. We do manage to get a clear by Gilson. It comes out to Sanchez. Blocked by the defender. We need something to happen in here, boys. Ten minutes to go. Time is just ticking away. We don't have too many options. Jim Walker's had a dreadful game. We'll bring on Javier Cortez on that left-hand side. And that's basically it. We don't have too many more options on the bench due to the amount of injuries and suspensions we've got. We're going extremely direct. And we'll see if we can get back into this game and hopefully take a point but with five minutes to go Barnsley have themselves a free kick Doyle is the man to take it he goes well wide there a few minutes to go anything Leeds we've been playing so well recently as well it's such a disappointing way to start this episode Leeds United nil Barnsley won <sighs> cruel crushing defeat there against Barnsley we've got four days in between our matches Huddersfield Town currently sitting sixth we sitting tenth <sighs> can we get one win just one win please so a couple of changes to the starting eleven from the last game. Piaggio comes back in at right back for Harewood. Porcino comes into the centre of midfield. Granger moves up to the attack and midfield. And Yepes comes in on that right hand side. Bernat does come in at centre back as well as... Um, what's his face? Gilson. He's out suspended after his fifth yellow card in the last game. Now we are playing Huddersfield. Pretty much the entire side is players we have signed. So we've got Stankovic at right back. Mikado at Dvorak. Uh, centre backs. Pitra in the centre of midfield, Fabio Luiz, Vrabek and Mallard, all our players. So seven players in the starting eleven who we personally signed for Huddersfield. Hopefully they throw the game, knowing who their boss is, so uh, we'll see how that goes. First highlight of the game comes five minutes in. We're on the attack, down the left-hand side. Dubalbis picks up the ball, whips it in. Yep, there's his back post. Why did I start Chapman last game? Why? He gets his first goal of the season, our young wonder kid. And it's an excellent way to start the match five minutes in. We need this win today. We need to get back on the winning trail. Um, we've got Watford coming up next. You obviously won't say that. But we're at home against them as well. So uh, to get a good run of form going now against teams that we can be beaten, we need to keep it going. 
25 minutes in or so, we are completely dominating this game, going by the possession and the other match stats. But we have ourselves a highlight. Porcino down this right-hand side, tries to switch the player. Comradi does manage to win it, and Jim Walker receives the ball in the box. Why do you shoot? Why do you shoot from there? It is stupid. You've got no chance of scoring. 30 minutes gone, Dualbis whips it in. Porcino wins the header. It's easily claimed by the Huddersfield goalkeeper. And we'll see where this highlight goes. Yepes eventually receives the ball on the right-hand side and gives it away to Damien Mallard, who is now away behind our defence. Damien, good lad. Good lad. Just keep that up for the rest of this game. Corner. Ten minutes to go before half-time. Jim Walker plays it in. It's cleared by Huddersfield, but only as far as Porcino. Dubelbis in the box. He strikes it. And Chris Dubelbis gets his second goal of the season from defensive midfield. And we go 2-0 up with only ten minutes to go. In the first half, fantastic goal, fantastic strike in the box. The boys are bouncing back after that Barnsley defeat. And not a moment too soon. Porcino does well to find Jubilbis and that is beautiful, beautiful strike. And there we have it, the first half is over. Leeds United 2, Huddersfield 0. Let's keep it going for the second half, boys. First highlight of the second half comes 56 minutes in. It's Huddersfield just giving the ball away incredibly sloppily. And we find ourselves in the advantage with Yepes Yep cutting in off that right-hand side. Uh, he does get dispossessed. Garonski does manage to beat Maillard. Eventually, eventually it falls to Vlasek. The possession has changed hands genuinely about five times in this highlight. So you can never be too sure. Dualbis with a lovely sweep and pass to Conradi on the left-hand side. He plays it in for Vlasek, but it's not good. And Fabio Luis, no, no, no. Don't do this to me, Fabio. You were my guy. I signed you. And that's right, you miss free kick who is going to be the man who steps up to take it for us it will be vlasek oh what a free kick that was his ninth goal of the season and probably his best strike all season i wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing this as goal of the season it goes the way the keeper is standing but he hits it so perfectly the keeper can't get anywhere near it three nil corner now jim walker is the man to take it it's whipped in Bernat goes close at the back post. Another corner now. We seem to be getting a lot of opportunities. Walker again to the back post. Bernat wins it again and it finds Yepes. And is he's not offside. No. There was two defenders on the line. Oh, it wasn't for offside. <laughs> somebody pushed somebody in the box. I didn't see it personally. Right, 3-0 up. We'll look to make our changes. Anyone who we really want to bring on. Ian Chapman, we will bring on for Roman Vlasek up top. Give him some game time. We we'll want to bring on Howard as well at that right back role. Um, Javier Cortez for Jim Walker, who's done okay, but he hasn't got involved in the goals or assists today. So we'll get some of our boys on who we want to give game time to whilst we can. Ten minutes to go in this one. Conradi's cutting in, finds Jewel Bis down to Yebez. Ian Chapman, Yebez. Second goal of the game. He's second goal of the season. This is by far his best performance of the season so far. Ian Chapman, uh, a little bit... Uh, a little bit fortuitously uh, credited with the assist here. As we can see here, Comradi is the man who plays at the Jubilbis. Jubilbis whips it in, who's had a great game as well. Uh, Chapman's shot is blocked. Yepes picks it up. And 4-0 against a team who was sitting in sixth. Uh, I think it shows the sort of quality we have got in our squad. Time is ticking away. Huddersfield aren't going for this. I think they're happy just not to concede anymore. And uh, Leeds United 4, Huddersfield nil. That is more like it. So that win does see us finish today's episode in 8th place in the Premier League. 5 points off Liverpool in 2nd. Uh, th 2 points off Spurs in 4th. That's, that's secretly what I'm aiming for. I'm not likely. We want another Champions League campaign for one of our sides. In terms of the other sides then, Barnsley and Birmingham are not particularly playing too well. But they are 6 points clear of the relegation zone. And Huddersfield drop behind us in ninth on 24 points. So, that wraps up today's video. Got a few games to go to January. January transfer window will be the next episode. In terms of our transfer budget left, we have £37 million. So we can definitely make some upgrades to this squad. In terms of the areas where I'm thinking we might improve. Centre-back, I want to sign a new centre-back in the window. Maybe defensive midfield. Chris Dewalbis did just have a very good game, but he hasn't really been a Coro level right now so we will be looking at defensive midfield attack and midfield center i would like to improve as well right wing i have searched i have searched the right wing market and yep is, is just the best we can get so i think right wing is out for january but we've got plenty to be able to improve upon so 37 million 
we'll see how far that stretches. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.